Welcome to Dinosaur Land! Today, we're playing with our 10 or 11 favorite dinosaur toys. Some of them are dinosaurs, some of them are swimming we reptiles. But no pterosaurs. But no pterosaurs today, just dinos and swimming reptiles. I get this side, you get that side. You get that side, I get this side. Mm -hmm. Let's play. So full time is like a Apertosaurus. meet Iguanodon. Ah. Oh, don't eat Iguanodon! Get out of our water. Iguanodon, run to safety. Get out of my water! Who's this guy? This guy? This guy. Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus. And Chronosaurus. And Chronosaurus. Oh, Chrony's got a bigger mouth than Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus is going to retreat to the shallower water. Oh, here comes Micro Pachycephalosaurus to get some water. What's going on? Hey, what's your name? I'm Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus, you have so many horns on your big... Well, what is that called? It's called a frill. Oh, a frill. How interesting. I have a bony head, like most pachycephalosaurs. Oh. I like to play bonk. I like to, I, bonk. I, I like to play bonk, too. You do? With that big horn? Yes. Oh, that seems a little scary. Whoa, that's a scary horn. Hmm. Have you found any good water plants over here? Oh, I found some delicious ones over here. Oh, are you open to sharing? Yes. Excellent. Oh, these are good. What are these? These are cattle kind and these are level grains. Oh, cavacanes and level grains. Okay. You want to try the level grains? Oh, the level grain is delicious. Have you seen any carnivores around here? Oh, there's one in the water over there and one in the tree. Oh, oh. and there's another one in the water. And there's another one in this truck. I feel like we're outnumbered. Maybe we should get out of here and find another water okay. animal. It's over there. I'm going to go this way. Bye. I'm not afraid of carnivores. No. No. Look at my bony club. I'm pretend I'm trying to sneak up on you from under the water. Okay. What are you gonna do? Oh, you got my tail! Feel these spikes? I'm, a, I'm like a spiky tank. That's what my friends call me anyway. Spiky tank. <laughs> that tickles. That tickles. <laughs> I'm not worried about you. Watch out for my bony club tail. Whoa. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm getting out of here. You guys are too wild for me. Oh, but this water feels delightful. Shh. Oh, you have, you have my tail. How did you bite through my plates? Um, Daddy, the plates are actually very soft. Oh, okay. I'm gonna break this tree on you. You can't, because I got lots of my plants on. No, I can't. I don't like carnivores. Thanks, oh. dinosaurs.
I go on a dog, will you please protect me? Of course I will, with my big thumb claw. Mm -hmm. Oh, this water tastes delicious. It's so, so nutritious. <laughs> oh, 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 what is this? I said I'd protect you from dinosaurs, not swimming lizards. Help, help. Take my spikes. <laughs> Get off my plates! Get off my plates! <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna find a new watering hole. You guys are just too scary. Even with your battle damage, Spinosaurus is too wild and scary for me. Welcome to Dinosaur Land, fans! This is Stegosaurus. <coughs> his spikes and the back of his tail are called Thagomizers. And these plates up here are really, they're actually very soft. I knew that from one of the shows I watch. They have very weak eyesight and they were horrible. You're absolutely right. That that collection of four to ten spikes on his tail is called a thagomizer. Very good. And each stegosaurus had 17 plates on their back. And the biggest one measured two feet by two feet. And did you know that stegosaurus, stegosaurus' name means covered lizard? And it lived between 156 to 151 million years ago. It could grow to be 30 feet long and 13 feet tall. And you're right, it was a herbivore. And it had a tipped forward posture because its front legs were shorter than its back legs. And it had a very small head. This is Velociraptor. He has toe claws like all raptors. He was very fast. He can run up to 99 miles per hour. He was a carnivore. He ate whatever he could find and whatever he could fit in his mouth. Were, were they very big? No, they were only the size of a turkey. It's about the size of a turkey? Because in some of the dinosaur movies we watch, especially the scary ones, they look really big. Uh -huh. But you know what? In real life, you're right. They were only about the size of a turkey and they even had some feathers. Yes, not, I that's not how they looked in the movie. Velociraptor lived between 84 and 71 million years ago. They were only 6 feet long and weighed 40 pounds. They were, say, were fierce carnivores and liked to hunt in packs. They had a long, low skull with an upturned snout. Often called simply a raptor. Which is confusing because there's birds that are raptors today. Um, also, they lived and hunted in the area that is now known as Mongolia, China. This is Spinosaurus. He was a carnival. He also loved to eat fish once in a while. He could swim and walk. He had a great sail on him. It had 30 spines on his back. His t he could run up to 92 miles per hour, but when he was in the water, he could swim 96 miles per hour. You're right. They are. They were spiny spines on his back, and that's why they uh, scientists think that he had a sail. Um, and the sail was often used. They think maybe to keep cool and to, to heat, heat up if he was hot or cold. And you're right, he was one of the first dinosaurs that was a great swimmer. There weren't very many. Can you show us a little bit more about this one? It has some cool colors on it. Sure. And it has some battle damage? Yes. Is that a Jurassic World dinosaur? Yes, he's a hybrid. Oh, he's one of the hybrids. Yes, remember I have Allosaurus, half, half Spinosaurus? Half Allosaurus, half Spinosaurus. He is awesome. Spinosaurus was larger than T-Rex. 
and it may have also been the largest carnivore, the carnivorous dinosaur ever. He lived between 99 and 94 million years ago, grew up to be 59 feet long, and could weigh up to 21 tons. His name means spine lizard, and he lived in the area that is now North Africa. But he was first discovered in Egypt in 1912. His sail fin is five feet tall. And that's almost, that's as tall as, about as tall as a lot of, a lot of daddies and mommies right there. That's pretty neat. But that sail helped him regulate his body temperature. That's what scientists think anyway. This is Motosaurus, a swimming reptile, not actually a dinosaur. It swimmed in the sea for a million years. It was in the Cretaceous period. It lived in China's ocean. It was definitely one of the top marine predators in the late Cretaceous period. And its name means Muse River Lizard. That's what Mosasaurus means. It liked to eat fish and meat, and it grew to be 59 feet long. and could weigh up to five tons. It had smooth skin with tiny scales. Mosasaurus's jaw is double hinged like a snake so it can open up really wide to gulp down prey. Mosasaurus doesn't come ashore even to lay eggs. Instead, it gives birth to live young out at sea. This is Chronosaurus. He grew up to be 90 feet tall and the, and the Biggest chronosaur of all of them was Clone Ixius, about 90, 90 feet tall. The, the plesiosaur with the largest appetite swallowing all that swam in its way was Chronosaurus. It ate large fish, turtles, and reptiles. It grew to be around 33 meters long, I'm sorry, 10 meters long, and Chronosaurus is one of the largest plesiosaurus species ever, and it lived in the early Cretaceous. It's all of our facts. This is Ankylosaurus. He grew to be 90 feet tall. He was a horrible. He had a bony club at the end of his tail. He was a plant eater. Also known as a horrible, he had bony spikes all over his back, except for his tummy. His tummy was his underside, his non-protection side. Where did he use that club for? Defending himself. Oh, let's see that club. Oh, that's a good one. That's, can we see his spikes? Oh, yeah. I like this one. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs that you have. Ankylosaurus, his name means fused lizard. And it grew to be six, or, I'm sorry, 5.6 feet tall and 200 and a half feet long. It could weigh up to 6.6 .6 tons, meaning it was huge. It was a herbivore, and it lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its skull houses a very small brain, so it was not smart. And it had cool head spikes, and a beaky mouth, and it had no teeth at the front. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, it had no teeth at the front, but it had small teeth on the side. That's where it chewed up the, the leaves and stuff, the leaves. And it, of course that classic bony tail club, which is so neat. And Kylosaurus is capable of breaking one of T. Rex's leg with its tail club. So it was definitely a cool, useful defense mechanism. This is Albertosaurus. It lived in the Triassic period. It was one of the top predators 
in the Jurassic. It grew to be 90 feet long and 50 feet tall. His, his mouth teeth were called a powder mitral. Albertosaurus lived 70 million years ago, and an adult Albertosaurus measured up to 30 feet long. It was a meat eater with a massive head, and on its head it had two horns in front of its eyes. Scientists don't think that the horns did much, it wasn't really for battling or anything, but may have been used for mating and, and identifying other like Albertosaurus. Albertosaurus had 60 huge conical shaped teeth in its scissor like jaws. And the first Albertosaurus skeleton was found in 1884. And did you know that Albertosaurus had only two fingers at the end of his short arms? Very silly. Tw yeah. 26 fossil skeletons belong to Albertosaurus. They were found together. And this suggests that they hunted in packs, which would have been super scary. This is Micropachycephalosaurus. This is Micropachycephalosaurus. It had the longest dinosaur name. It looked like a tiny pachycephalosaur. It had small arms but it did head battle. Its bony crest was called a bam ride. He is a pachycephalosaur, and you're right. He is the longest dinosaur name. It's spelled M-I-C-R-O-P-A-C-H-Y-C-E-P-H-A-L-O-S-A-U-R-U-S. Oh, <gasps> so long. And... It was tiny, and it had a, it was a tiny, thick-headed lizard. And you're right; it did do bashing exercises with its head, and that's how they asserted dominance and to see who would lead the herds. This is this is Oguadon. He had a thumb spike to defend himself. He could run up to two million miles per hour. He was horrible. He lived in South America 900 million years ago. Well, we have done Iguanodon before, but we really like this toy. It's fun. And Iguanodon fossils have been found in Europe, Africa, and North America. It was one of the first dinosaurs to be named back in 1825. Iguanodon had a sharp, horny beak for breaking off plants and strong cheek teeth for grinding up food. He used that thumb, th sharp thumb claw to help pull off plants and to help defend himself. He lived in the early Cretaceous period and grew to be 26 feet long and 16 feet tall. Iguanodon's rows of teeth moved down and up and down and from side to side to grind through leaves and twigs, which reminds me a little bit of how cows eat. This is Styracosaurus. It lived in the Triassic. It had a frill like other ceratopsians. It, it, it made, it decided with which goal with a type of pushing and pressment with their frill. And when they push up, it's a contest. Oh, they did have contests and they did do battles. And I think you're right. I think they did use that frill to try to impress a mate. Styracosaurus is a very large horned faced dinosaur or ceratopsian. It inhabits North America and lived there during the Cretaceous period. I thought it was Triassic. It's the Cretaceous. It weighed nearly 3.3 tons and Styracosaurus means spiked lizard. It was one of the largest and spikiest ceratopsians. The six biggest horns on its neck, frill, are each more than 20 inches long. And it had cheek horns, too. Can we see if he had cheek horns? How's that toy look? Um, you got some cheek horns? Um, 
There's one back here, but mm -hmm. I don't really see. I think those count as a cheat cord right there. Right here? Mm hmm. Pretty cool. This is Dr. Sol. It lived in the Cretaceous time period. It was a long neck. It ate leaves from the trees. It was in the family of. Well, it was in the family of of se of proceratops. Sauropods. Proceratops. Sauropods. Sauropods. Thanks for watching. Bye.